There are times in life where you have to make difficult decisions and selling a house in the middle of a divorce is one of them. What are the, what are the tips and tricks for doing that in a logical and organized fashion to try to eliminate as much drama as possible? I'm Sandy Warner with Warner Realty Group. Today we're going to talk very briefly about the steps you want to go through if you have to sell the, the marital home because you're getting a divorce. The first thing you want to do is you want to pick a realtor. When there are two um, parties involved, it's better to have a professional third party that you agree on uh, to make those decisions to be sort of a neutral third party for you. Yes, you could sell the home yourself, but it does leave open a lot of um, opportunity for um, one party to think the other party is maybe not being fair with them. So the first thing you do is you pick your agent. If you were happy with the agent who sold you the house, you might consider going back to that agent since that was someone you both agreed on in the first place. The second thing you want to do is you want to set the price for the house. In this instance, you really want to use, uh, take the advice of your agent. That's why you hired a professional third party. Um, this is particularly important if you happen to be selling the home in a market that is not a, a great seller's market. Uh, you want to get the most money that you can because you're trying to uh, probably pay off marital debt or you're trying to give uh, the two parties money to go off and, and start anew. So be sure that you um, take advice and go with that advice. If you overprice the home, uh, the home could sit on the market and if one of the parties is still living in the home, that can be really stressful. Um, say for example, whoever uh, is, has the children is in the home and you've priced the home so high that it stays on a market for a long time and that person keeps having to show the house and keep it clean, it's really tough. You really want to assign some value to selling it quickly. And the reality is if you price it right, the market rarely will let you underprice your house because if everyone that's looking at houses think yours is a good deal, usually you'll end up with multiple offers and that will drive your price up again. The next thing you want to do is you want to prepare to show the house. Depending on where you are in the scenario, if both parties have moved out of the house and the house is vacant, just make sure it's really clean. Consider doing a pre-inspection. Understand what repairs need to be made. You don't want to get surprised in an, in an inspection. If you know in advance that uh, the roof is failing or the, the downstairs bathroom sink is leaking and it's so easy to just fix that. Um, also, the other thing a pre-inspection report can do is it can give a buyer confidence, which helps you with a speedy sale. Once the offers start coming in, you want to review the offers. As hard as it may be in some scenarios, not all scenarios, there are many, many um, amicable divorces. But if you're having trouble talking and working together, you might consider getting attorneys involved. Um, but you, you do need to work together to choose and accept an offer, um, particularly if you have multiple offers. Uh, you both presumably want uh, the most money, the best offer, the cleanest offer. It should be okay, but there are certainly markets that uh, that bring you offers where you're you might have to be choosing between um, you know the the lesser of two evils. Um, so you you do have to go through that that process. Um, finally, you'll have to figure out how to divide the proceeds. Generally, what happens is you have to pay off the mortgage, you have to pay your realtor, you have to pay the attorneys. You might then be taking the proceeds to pay off marital debt. Uh, it might be credit cards, um, so on and so forth. If one of the parties has been continuing to pay the mortgage, for example, because they were living in the house, that party has now contributed to the value of the house. So you, you want a little assistance on figuring out how to make that fair um, and uh, how, how those proceeds should be delivered. It's very easy for your escrow company to write checks to two different parties. Uh, so that's not going to be a problem. It's really a matter of you saying, what do you need as, as the, the sellers? So there are ways to do this 
in a, in a way that's, that's least stressful for you. We are happy to help you through this. We have experience working in these and other uh, scenarios for selling your home. There's a way to do it with very little stress and we're happy to make that work for you. Give us a call if we can answer any questions for you. I'm Sandy Warner at Warner Realty Group. It's 401-662-7204. Be well and we'll talk to you soon.